What's going on, YouTubers? It's me once again, RKO2582. Just wanted to wish everyone a happy MLK Day and about to do my raw review for January the 16th, 2012. So let's not waste any time to get this review underway. Alright, we kicked off raw tonight with. Bye bye! Mick Foley and I marked out big time. And, you know, Mick Foley is just saying, like, how it's been awesome since he's returned to WWE. And he's pointing up to saying that I'm going to try and get into the 2012 Royal Rumble. And guess who comes out? Excuse me! Vicky Guerrero and here to show the world, Dolph Ziggler. And pretty much, you know, snubbing Mick Foley and then calling him a glorified stuntman and telling him to go home and stay away. But who comes out? Best in the world, CM Punk. And pretty much he was getting on Dolph Boy, yeah, with the thing looking pink and stuff. And uh, Vicky saying, uh, you have a poor excuse for a woman, which I totally agree. And and once again, bashing on Fuck Man, nobody gives a effing crap, John Laryngitis. And, and speaking of the devil, John Laryngitis comes out there. Oh, my, oh, Big Foley, I heard you about the Royal Rumble. My answer is, no. Fuck you, John Laryngitis. And, and then Vicky's like, ha, 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 ha. Oh, I hate those two so And boy, he did not piss me off that much tonight, which I'll get to later on in this review. Alright, um, next we had Air Boom versus Epico and Premier for the WWE Tag Team Championships. As you know, last night at a WWE live event in Oakland, Epico and Primo beat Air Boom, and I could not believe it. And, and, and looking back on this, this is not the first time it's, this has happened. Um, back in late 2008, I think Miz and Morrison beat it. Kofi Kingston, believe it or not. Wow, second time he lost the tag titles like this. And uh, CM Punk losing the tag titles to them and at a house show, so... It's like history repeating itself. Alright, you had Epico and Primo do their double teams and stuff, and then Boom was looking good, and then Kofi, my boy, man, he was doing like he always does, just when you think everyone was going to get the titles back. Nope. Uh, they, um, I think Epico takes Kofi out, and then um, I think um, Epico hits the backstabber on uh, Bourne, and sadly, yeah, Bourne's job now. And one, two, three, your winners are still tag team champions. Epico and Primo. Next, we had Jack Swagger and Woo Woo Woo. Long Island Ice Z, the U.S. champion Zack Ryan, as scheduled for their U.S. title match. And Ryan was taped up and all after that beatdown K gave him last week. And he was side and. And then after two, three Swagger bumps, one, two, Three Germans! That damn jerk swearer, aka Doka Doofus, is your new US champion. And and believe it or not, Fuck Man didn't get the memo about that word not compete tonight. And boy, what a shock. Alright, now we get on to our Divas Tag Team match. And as announced, like over the weekend on W.com, that Perez Hilton was going to be the special guest ring announcer. And <laughs> He got booed, and, and rightfully so. He deserved the boos, trust me. I might think he's been entertained on the Bad Girls Club, which I kind of watch. Guilty pleasure. But I'm still not a big fan of his, like most people. He's kind of a douche. <laughs> uh, anyway, enough about Perez Hilton. Uh, we had uh, this match. Yeah, the, uh, Kelly Kelly, Alicia Fox versus the Bell Twins. And just when you think the Bell Twins are going to win the match, then Perez stops them, and then. Uh, once again, another Diva Fish and a freaking roll up. Oh my god. One, two, three, your winners, Kelly Kelly and Alicia Fox. But really, what sort of kind of mattered was the post match when the Bells were pushing Perez Hilton and then Kelly Kelly and Alicia Fox stand up for him and all that jazz. So, enough about that. Let's continue. Alright, we had my boy, The Truth has set me free, R-Truth. <laughs> and then just when you're about to speak, here comes 
way you balance. Yeah, of course, you know, bring up once again the War Rumble and the Barrett Balls. And then R2 <laughs> have you laugh with a Hello, Gopna. <laughs> and then he tell R2 like, Don't want me. Okay, what me? He's so hilarious. And he's like, Like, why, Barrett? Why you never been to Disneyland? It is funny, man. And I'm in a real good quack quack. And then Mickey and Minnie and all that jazz. And then. When I told Ray Barrett that he was going to win the Rumble to Pinocchio, ooh, lying. And then he said, I'm going to win the Royal Rumble. And then, then who comes stupid news, jumping R2 with Bear Beef down. Here comes the Celtic Warrior, the Great White Sheamus. And then here comes Holla, Holla, Holla player, Teddy Long. And I was thinking he was going to make a tag match like everyone can't stand. But no, he makes an over-the-top challenge with those four competitors. And then Barry got <laughs> was the first one to go after triple-teaming him. And then Shane was beating up on Miz, which I totally enjoyed. And then um, Justin is about to hit the bro kick. He misses. And then R2 surprisingly wins the over-the-top bro challenge. And Arthur says, yes, r True. And you got to love MLK Day. You got to give a brother something. You know what I'm saying? So I'll, I'll take that. So once again, your winner, our truth. Then you had your new U.S. champion, Dorka Doofus, Jack Swagger, going up against Cena. But the match didn't even start. Cena was oof, 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 oof. He did no salute, no his usual stuff. That's the scene I want to see. You hear me? Right there. And then he was beating up Swagger. And then just when he was about to hit the fire blow, Boom! The pyro hits and Kane's like, hmm, impressive, Cena. He's like, now you're understanding hate. And I'm like, and I'm looking at like, did Kane get what he wanted all this time? I'm thinking so, because Cena's starting to embrace that hate, which I'm totally liking. And now, here we go. Come on. Oh, bro, ah, bro, this is Clay, David. Yeah, fuck him for his time. <laughs> yeah, but he went up against JTG. Wow. <laughs> and then he got out suplex, and and I think they need to make a shirt with this catchphrase, like, should I get him? <laughs> and then he hits the funk it splash. That's what he calls it. Instead of falling humanity, he now calls it funk it. Yeah, gotta go with the gimmick. One, two, three, your winner, bro, this play. Somebody call my mama, call my mama. Damn, that song. Can't, can't get out of my head, man. <sighs> bro, this play, man. Thank you for making me like you. All right? <laughs> so, once again, bro, this play, Funkasaurus, at the world. Now, we're getting ready for the main event. Um, Instead of a tag match, it was now instead of a, a six-man tag with... D. Bryan, the world champion, and best in the world, CM Punk, and come on, baby! Chris Jericho, Y2J, going up against Mark Henry, Carlton Banks, David Otonga, and here to show the world, Dolph Ziggler. And before the match started, you had D. Bryan cut a promo, pretty much saying, I wish AJ the best, and then... Thing. So he's like, next time I see you, I'm gonna kick your ass, you bastard! And then, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'll get to more on this later. Like, I know, I, I have to give down some sympathy, but I still think it's kind of his fault, too. Along with show, but mostly Daniel Bryan. Keep my chance. Alright. Uh, Zero was pretty much grounded Bryan this match, and then. Um, Punk got tagged in, he hit the, oh yeah, Macho Man elbow on a ton of, and, and the fans were calling for it, Y2J, Y2J, and Y2J, once again, saying like, come on, baby, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, and he's like, Psh. I'm like, the fuck, once again, Y2J trolls us for the third week in a row, damn it, alright, back to the match after the commercial break, it was just, Punk, D. Bryan, and those other three guys. All right, D. Bryan and Mark Henry started brawling outside the uh, ring and stuff. So Punk was pretty much alone with Ziggler and Tonga. But who comes out? Bang bang! Once again, Miss Foley helps out Punk, and then he was and he and he beats a Tonga up, and then he hits the double hook under D. T. And 
Here comes the return of Mr. Sucko, Mandible Claw for the win, and then <sighs> stupid Puff Man once again strikes John Laranjai, they like, I didn't ask you to be part of this match fully, so I have no choice but to reverse the season, and thank God, CM Punk, best in the world, laid the freaking pipe bomb on his bitch ass. He was all saying like, oh, you, oh, you saying you ain't gonna do nothing. Well, trust me, you ain't gonna do shit, man. And he, he was all like, uh, it was funny by me, the me right there, I'm gonna kick your ass and all that, Doug. It was funny as hell. And proving once again, like Punk said weeks ago, I treat, like he treated him like animal cruelty because why? Punk man is a bitch. And rightfully so. And then, um, afterwards, and he admitted that he's gonna screw CM Punk to Foley. Oh no! Two weeks in the Rumble. I'm worried, man. I'm worried, y'all. And then, then John Lair Josh cheap shots Foley. And all, and for the end, fuck you, John Lair Josh. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, car! Alright. Yeah, I have to say, this Raw tonight did a lot better than the previous two weeks of Raw. Since you know, raise us, but tonight has to do, man. Like, my God, wow, what a raw! All right, anyways, that was my raw super show review for January 16, 2012. This is your boy RKL 2582 signing off, and don't forget, yeah, MLK Day, and I have a special little ending to this review. So, hope you enjoy it.